Good afternoon. My name is Monique Taylor. I'm the MPP for Hamilton Mountain, and I'm very proud to be here today on behalf of Andrew Horvath, the leader of the NDP, and the MPP for Hamilton Center. Today is International Women's Day, and joining us today from Hamilton is Hillcrest Elementary School, grade seven and eight, girls government program. They have been working with MPP Andrea Horvath since September on developing policy recommendations and advocating for pay equity. We are very proud to have them here today. Girls? Good afternoon. Thank you very much for attending today's co uh, press conference. We are representatives from Hamilton Wentworth District School Board and Hillcrest Public School students. We are proud to be involved in the Girls' Government, a nonpartisan equal vo voice program started by MPP Sherry DeNovo and run by MPPs across all parties. We would like to th begin by thanking Andrea Horvath, our MPP mentor and leader of the NDP party for her guidance and support. We would also like to thank Sarah Lowe and Lyndon George for all their guidance and support throughout this adventure. We are intermediate students who have learned how to advocate for our causes we care about. We have learned that we have learned about roles that women have in politics and how speaking out can change policies. My name is Isabel and you'll be hearing and I'll be acting as your facilitator today. First you'll be hearing from Danielle who will introduce our topic. Hello. My name is Danielle. I'm an intermediate student at Hillcrest Public School in Hamilton. Our girls' government group discussed many different issues that we would like to advocate for, such as sexual harassment, poverty, environmental issues, and pay equity. We decided to focus on pay equity and the wage gap for the purposes of this presentation. As teenage girls, we have already experienced how we are expected to do the majority of household chores in, compa in comparison to our male siblings. According to Think Progress, the gender pay gap begins early, very early. Research suggests young girls are doing more chores for less pay. We have witnessed an imbalance in our mothers' incomes compared to our fathers, and many of us are being raised by single mothers. The 2015 United Nations Human Rights Report raised concerns about the persisting inequities between women and men in Canada, including the high level of the pay gap. Stats Canada 2011 indicates that the wage gap in Ontario is 26% for full-time, full-year employment. This means that for every $1 earned by a male worker, a female worker earns 74 cents. This wage gap increases for marginalized women. We are speaking out on this issue today because we know that two-thirds of part-time workers in Ontario are women. Many women are limited to part-time employment due to the inavailability of affordable childcare. Thank you, Danielle. Now you'll be hearing from Anahi, who will share some of our research. Hello, my name is Annie, and I'm an intermediate student at Hillcrest Public School in Hamilton. We were surprised to learn from Stats Canada that more women than men aged 25 to 34 have a bachelor, medical, and master's degree. In Canada, and in fact, the pay gap increases with education. We see, our, um, as reported by a 2012 in Can Canadian Income Survey in Hamilton, women earn an average of approximately $32,000 annually, and men earn an average of $50,000 annually. We see our mothers working very hard for less money. We would like to spend more time with our mothers, but some are working up to three part-time jobs at minimum wage just to make ends meet. This really hit home when one of our members shared this story. At Christmas, my mother worked extra hours at the dollar store so she could buy gifts for me and my siblings. When she got her paycheck for $400, she cried because she worked so hard and she thought the paycheck would be larger. As girls and women, we, ad we need to advocate for change and have our voices heard so that we can also have one fair paid job rather than multiple part-time jobs with be without benefits, pensions, or security. It is well documented that the majority of traditionally female occupations are lower paid than traditionally male occupations. We would like to see this government address the issue of pay equity by raising the wages of women across the province to that of an equal and fair wage seen by men. Thank you, Annie. Now you'll be hearing from Jackie, who is asking this government to take action. 
Hello, my name is Jackie and I am an intermediate student at Hillcrest Public School in Hamilton. You have heard why pay equity and the wage gap is an important issue that needs to be addressed in Ontario. We believe an adjustment in pay with regard to gender inequity is being neglected. We are here to ask you, the government, to take a serious look at the facts and make changes accordingly. In 1987, the Pay Equity Act was passed. We have made some gains, but more work is needed to shrink the wage gap. We are asking for a shift towards policies that support better wages, access to employment, and employment opportunities. We would like to see greater focus by the government to prioritize women's pay and wage rights. We believe that by addressing the unequal economics of women's work, there will be a transformative impact on our economy. We want the government to monitor employers to ensure women are being paid fairly and take action if they are not. Further, we would like this government to address the child care crisis in Ontario. With cost-effective child care available to all the people in Ontario, women would be able to work full-time and provide for their families. We encourage this government to implement a fair child care system such as the one currently in Quebec. Child care costs a range from zero to $12.70 a day, depending on the total family's income. Thank you very much for listening to our to this call to action in our stories. We would like to thank everyone involved with Girls Government for this life-changing experience. Girls Government has taught us to stand up for what we believe in. This experience has given us the skills to advocate for ourselves and others.